Have you ever unwrapped a Christmas gift and thought, oh, not this again? Well, today we're diving into the avoid these 10 cliche Christmas gifts of 2023. Trust me, you'll wanna hear this before you go shopping. Let's get it on. Cruising in at number 10, calendars. Now I know what you're thinking, but it, it's practical. Everyone needs to know the date. Sure, and everyone needs to breathe, but you don't see us gifting each other air in a box, do we? Unless it's a calendar teeny with absurdly specific interests like surfing cats, wearing tiny sunglasses, or retro 80s quotes with needle and leg warmers. Let's face it, it's destined for a one-way trip to the recycling bin come February. It's like gifting someone a daily reminder of time slipping away. Happy New Year, here's a countdown to the next one. And let's not forget those tiny squares. Ever try to actually write in those? You need a microscope and the handwriting skills of a miniature calligraphy artist. So unless your calendar can predict lottery numbers or comes with a free pizza for every month, it's probably not going to be the highlight of Christmas morning. Practical? Absolutely. Exciting is finding a parking spot right in front of the store, not even close. At number nine, we have the timeless ties and socks combo. You know, that classic gift that says, I didn't know what to get you. So here's a little something to make you blend into the crowd. Now, don't get me wrong, ties and socks are like the unsung heroes of our wardrobe. They quietly serve their purpose without demanding the spotlight. But isn't Christmas all about a little bit of dazzle and cheer? Here's a tip. If your gift is something that everyone wears but nobody talks about, it's probably not going to win you gift of the year. And seriously, let's leave the socks to the sock fairy, shall we? Because honestly, nothing screams last minute shopping louder than a pair of generic socks. We're talking about the kind of socks that are so plain that they make white bread look exotic. So maybe this year, let's venture out of the sock drawer and think outside the box. Get it, box. Because gifts come in boxes, no? Okay, moving on. At number eight on our hit parade, picture frames. Ah, the good old frame, our go-to solution for that what do I get them? But folks, we live in the digital age. Unless that picture frame is showcasing holograms of your favorite celebs or has a secret talent for whipping up gourmet dinners, chances are it's going to end up gathering more dust than applause. Let's be real, we've all got smartphones and social media accounts packed with photos. If we want to see someone's face, all we have to do is swipe left or right. So giving a picture frame in 2023 is like saying, hey, I see you're drowning in a sea of digital memories, so I got you a frame. You're welcome. And unless your picture frame comes with an AI that tells you jokes or compliments your cooking, it's just going to sit there silently judging you from the shelf. So this year, let's keep the digital memories digital and the frames, maybe for another era. After all, even our toasters are getting smarter. At number seven, we got cheap jewelry. Now, we all know the saying, it's the thought that counts. Sometimes that thought is more like, I grabbed this at the checkout counter five minutes ago. You know what I mean, right? It's that glittery, shiny stuff that looks like it cost a fortune until you try to wear it for more than an hour, and suddenly, you're auditioning for the next Drek movie. Remember, if your jewelry turns your skin green faster than the Hulk on a caffeine rush, it's probably not the best choice. I mean, we all appreciate a good bargain, but when it comes to gifts, we're looking for something that won't make our skin protest louder than a picket line. So while it's sweet that you're thinking of us, let's aim for jewelry that doesn't double as a chemistry experiment, because nothing says I care like jewelry that doesn't require a hazmat suit. Let's keep it classy and non-radioactive this Christmas, shall we? At number six, we've got handkerchiefs. Now handkerchiefs are a practical item, no doubt about it. They're like the duct tape of personal hygiene, always there when you need them. But when it comes to gift giving, handing someone a handkerchief is a bit like saying, Merry Christmas, here's something to wipe your nose with. Imagine the moment of unwrapping when they discover your thoughtful gift beautifully wrapped in festive paper. They eagerly open it, only to find more fabric. It's like gifting someone a mini laundry day. So let's face it, unless you're in the business of collecting vintage handkerchiefs or your friend has a peculiar obsession with them, it might be best to save this practical gift for a more ordinary occasion. After all, there are plenty of other gifts that won't leave them feeling like they received a consolation prize from a tissue box. At number five, we've hit the novelty t-shirts jackpot. Ah, those tees that proudly proclaim I paused my game to be here, or I'm not arguing, I'm explaining why I'm right. They're like a stand-up comedy show in fabric form. But here's the thing, as much as we appreciate the humor, they're about as likely to become part of their regular wardrobe rotation as a spacesuit is for a daily commute. 
Sure, it might get a laugh and a wear or two, but eventually it's going to end up in the why did I buy this section of the closet. So remember, a t-shirt is for life, not just for Christmas. Let's be real, folks. Those witty slogans might be better suited for a meme than for everyday wear. But hey, if you're dead set on getting one, just make sure it's the funniest darn t-shirt they've ever seen. Because at least then, it'll earn its place in the special occasions section of their wardrobe. Keep the laughs coming and maybe consider something a bit more versatile next time. At number four, we've got plush toys on the chopping block. Now, don't get me wrong, plush toys are cute and cuddly, perfect for kids and collectors who have a room devoted to these fluffy critters. But if your friend falls into neither of those categories, they might be scratching their head wondering what to do with yet another stuffed animal. Picture this, your friend unwraps the gift and there it is, a soft, huggable bear that's bigger than their coffee table. They look at you, you look at the bear and the bear, well, it just looks fluffy. So maybe save it for someone who will appreciate its cuddly charm and has a rune that could double as a zoo. Because let's be honest, a plush toy doesn't exactly scream functional gift. But hey, if you're ever in doubt about what to get a toddler or someone with an insatiable love for stuffed animals, you know where to go. Keep it cute, but also keep it context appropriate. At number three, we're venturing into the world of perfume or cologne. You see, scent is a deeply personal thing, like picking out someone's toothpaste, but with potentially higher stakes. Unless you had a recent eureka moment where you discovered that your friend's life ambition is to smell like a Yubi Christmas tree, you might want to steer clear of the fragrance section. Picture this, you may end the beautifully wrapped bottle of what you think is the scent of the season, and they unwrap it with excitement, only to discover that it's the olfactory equivalent of a roller coaster through a flower garden during a rainstorm. Awkward, right? Unless you have Sherlock Holmes level deductive skills and have figured out their fragrance preference, it's best to avoid this aromatic adventure altogether. Because let's face it, no one wants to smell like a surprise party gone wrong. Keep it odor free, my folks. At number two, self help books. Now, don't get me wrong, self improvement is a noble endeavor, but gifting a self help book can be as subtle as saying, hey, you could use some fixing. It's like handing someone a manual for life and hoping they'll take the hint. Imagine the scenario. They unwrap your well-intentioned gift, and there it is, a book that promises to solve all of life's problems, or at least the ones they didn't know they had. It's like saying, Merry Christmas, and by the way, have you considered a complete personality overhaul? So this year, let's tread carefully in the self-help aisle. Unless they explicitly ask for a book on how to achieve world domination in three easy steps or becoming the perfect unicorn whisperer, it might be best to avoid inadvertently sending a message that requires therapy to decode. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the grand finale at number one, mugs. Yes, mugs, everyone's favorite last minute gift. You know the drill, you're in a rush, you pop into a store and there they are, row after row of mugs, each one whispering, hey, you can't go wrong with me. But let's get real here. If your friend doesn't already have a cupboard full of mugs from Christmas's past, they're probably not drinking enough coffee to keep up with your gifting enthusiasm. It's like giving a life bar, a how to swim manual. Picture the scene, they unwrap your gift, their eyes brimming with anticipation, and there it is, another mug. They smile politely, but deep down they're thinking, Oh joy, another vessel for my morning caffeine ritual. So this year, let's collectively decide to mug off the mugs, all right? And that's our list. Before you go gift shopping, remember the best gifts are those that show you really know and care about the person. But hey, if all else fails, there's always the option of a good old hug. One size fits all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss any of our Yubletide season contents. Also, share your own no-go gift experiences in the comments below. We love hearing from you. You may also want to watch Witty Christmas Gift Ideas and Santa Claus, the symbol of consumerism. Happy gift hunting, and see you in the next video.